today we will be addressing the issues that happen when your brewery gets too big. And by addressing, I mean just lightly dodging on it. What is going on everyone? Josh here, half ass Beer Review, and tonight we are back in the basement. I wanted to stay on the patio as long as possible, but it has been a wet, rainy, damp fall. And under those conditions, I don't want the camera or lights to be outside or there to be rainwater in my beer. But maybe that'll all clear up. Maybe we'll have a mild winter and I can be out on the patio. That would be kind of cool. Well, it'd be kind of cold, right? Uh, but tonight we have a new beer. We have, this is a first, I, it might be the first time they did this variant, but this is a bottle of caramel, not caramel, pumpkin. Imperial Pumpkin Ale, 8.6% ABV, brewed, bottled by Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakewood, New York. Uh, pumpkin guy on it with a little, you know, whisker with pumpkin guts or, or caramel. That's probably caramel, but he doesn't look like a king unless you are describing what uh, a, a, a man today calls another man uh, a king, then that's probably what, he, what he's thinking. Uh, Best Buy, 7 So I have two years to drink this beer, almost two years to drink this beer. That doesn't add up. Those numbers do not add up. Let's pop this open. Let's pour it, look at it, smell it, taste it, see what it's got going on. Going straight for that hard pour. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about what happens when your brewery gets too big, right? Uh, a lot of... Sorry, I thought it was going to boom over. So, a lot of times when a brewery gets big, they have to brew bigger batches of beer. And that means that they can't always rely on getting real things to put in the beer. For instance, Summer Shandy from Lining Kugels, if they were to use real lemons, I'm sure there's not enough lemons in the world for them to make a summer's worth of summer shandy, leading them to have to use artificial flavors. Yeah, I said it. And that has been one of the issues with Southern Tier, from what I hear, people that trying their stuff are like, uh, all their stuff just seems super artificial. Anything that they try to do with like flavoring or that seems like there'd be adjuncts, it's just like this really artificial flavor and people end up not liking it. So I think breweries really need to dial in that artificial flavor or the artificial flavoring just needs to get better or it can't be used for beer. I don't know. I don't know the process 100%. I just know that's what happens. And so people start to like, in Southern Tier, they were one of my favorite breweries when the boom first came around. Uh, I don't want to say how many years ago now because I don't want to feel old, but I remember 2X Smash being one of my favorite double double IPAs, uh, single malt and hop. Yeah, it's it was solid, nice dank resin smell to it. Man, I love that thing. And I think they, they had a lot of good beers, uh, but up until recently, a lot of their stuff has been letting me down as well. Let's get into the nose. Okay, I'm getting the pumpkin out of this. I'm getting a little bit of that caramel. Uh, it's got a sweet kind of nose to it. Getting a little bit of that spice that comes along with pumpkin pie. Maybe a nutmeg cinnamon kind of thing going on here. But yeah, it smells like pumpkin pie. A little bit of caramel. Caramel doesn't really matter. I try to stick my nose up at uh, at people that say caramel or look down at them. However you want to describe it. But uh, this beer is actually really beautiful looking. It's got a nice golden color to it. The head on it's really beautiful. It's like this creamy off-white head. Very good looking beer and a very good looking glass, right? Uh, yeah, I know I'm lame, but anyway, let's stop talking about it. We smelled it. We're looking at it. Uh, we are going to try this beer, see if it lives up to the hype or see if it has that artificial kind of flavor going on. As always on Half-Ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. Well, I gotta tell you, the caramel flavor is there in the aftertaste. Like after you swallow, that caramel flavor kind of warms up in your mouth. But this is 
uh, maltiness on the front, like beer maltiness on the front, and then that pumpkin pie kind of creeps in. This might be the best version of this that I've actually had. Yeah, you can tell there's some of that kind of artificial oddness, like an oddity to this one. But the other flavors in it are really kind of bringing it back to you and making this a, a pretty enjoyable beer. Yeah, there's this weird middle ground to this beer. It feels great. It, it's, it drinks like a like a standard lager almost. It's nothing too heavy. Uh, it, it, it just comes in, does its thing, and goes down. It doesn't stick around too long or anything like that. But there's this weird middle ground to it. So you drink it, you're getting some of that maltiness, that pumpkin pie kind of creeps in, and then it's just that artificialness. Then you swallow in that kind of caramel pumpkin pie vibe is kind of less sitting in there. I don't think this is that bad if you can get past the odd middle part of this one. Now, question of the night, Josh, would you ever buy this beer again? I think I would. I, I think I'm going to get the hankering for something like this again, if they still make it, right? They might never make this one again. But I think I, I, this is, I see something... I see this as something I get the hankering for every now and then. Kids, uh, hankering, getting the hankering for something means you kind of want it. You're getting the urge to get it. You know how sometimes, man, a, a McDonald's cheeseburger, just you, you know it's going to taste good. That's how I feel about this. Every once in a while, I'm going to want this one. I'm going to want to drink it because it actually has some pretty decent flavor to it. That middle part doesn't really bother me much. It might throw some people off because I know it, th these beers do that with some people. Yeah, yeah, it, it kind of has like a pumpkin pie out of a can with a little bit of caramel in there flavor to it. I'm into it. I am into it. That's going to do it for this episode of half Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out another beer with me, Caramel Pumpkin from Southern Deer Brewing Company. I dig it. I, I really do. If you're new here, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, or you want to talk a little bit of shit, go ahead and do that down in the comments. It's always welcomed and enjoyed. Before you go, check out my friends Banter and Babble for the best pop culture wrap-up every Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock on Twitch. And also my good friend Drastin the Dungeon Master at 7 Dungeons Monday night at 7 o'clock on Twitch for the best Dungeons and Dragons around. And as always, please keep your fridges full and have a great night.